Hello, I am psychologist Smartin Hoffman. I like to learn about feelings, and what makes humans feel the same feelings as others. We call this feeling, empathy. I believe empathy is developed early in life. I have suggested these three stages of empathy development. Global empathy, egocentric empathy, and empathy for others. Here, I will give you a demonstration of each one of the three stages. Within the first years of life, children may match the emotions they see. This is called global empathy. Have a look at this cute and happy baby. And now take a look at this cute, but sad baby. Oh no. Oh my. Seems that the happy baby has mirrored the sad baby's emotions. This type of emotion this early is involuntary and undifferentiated. Either way, come on. Let's get out of here. Yahoo. Wow, that was fun. Follow me. I will show you our next stage of empathy, called egocentric empathy. Notice this group of young children playing. Do you notice anything? Notice these two children are arguing over the slide. Let's see what the other child who is watching does to help console the upset boy. At this stage, the kind of help given is what child themselves would find comforting and is in that sense egocentric. But, the child responds with appropriate empathy. The last stage of empathy development is the ability to understand emotions of others without directly knowing them, or having experiences with them. Like, crying during a movie. Oh, sorry. Come on, let's go. Now let's cover what you know. About empathy, and how we grow. It occurs in three stages, and it begins within the early ages. Babies copy babies, when they cry, they mirror emotion but don't know why. Kids learn to console others as they grow, using methods that comfort them. The only way they know, last but not least is stage 3, feelings of empathy, like crying while reading story books, or understanding emotions with just a look. Good job. Thank you for learning with me. Goodbye.